Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Research Hub. Today in our Gapminder series, we are going to talk about another feature of this amazing data representing software. For that, we are going to go on our data option. And once the data has been loaded, you can see a list of indicator here. And we are going to choose just one for our um, convenience. I'm choosing income. And when the data table is loaded, you can see bubble charts and line charts here. We are going to click line chart. And uh, once it's loaded, you can see a line chart this way, which says income per person or GDP per capita. But that's not what we are going to talk about today. Today we are going to talk about this graph, which lies second at the bottom chart, and it says income. Um, now this is a special kind of chart because you cannot see other indicator here. You can only see number of people by income and all the countries in the world here uh, is divided into four income level income level one level two level three and level four and uh, here is the extreme poverty line which is written just over here as you can see which is less than an income of two dollar per day on this chart you can see the income in dollars per day and level two is something from two dollar per day to around eight dollars per day and level three is something from eight dollars per day to thirty dollars per day and level four is above around thirty dollars per day so if you want to uh, see about uh, what is the population of a country that lives below the poverty level or that uh, has an income level of three or level four you can uh, you can see that from this chart for example, if you want to see about um, maybe China, that's a big, big economy, big population country. Let's see about it. So here you can see China has 1.4 billion people and uh, below the poverty level, um, here is the line. This amount of population lives below the po poverty level in China and most of the people have this income. And also, not much people have an income of more than $50 per day. Yeah, and if you want to see, for example, about Australia, you can see here, they have 28.3 million people. Not much of a data, but no people lives below the poverty line. Here in Australia, as you can see, the most dark colored line in this chart, most of the people lives around 4.8 dollars per day with a maximum of 30 dollars per day yeah and if you want to see this in the in the video form here i have chosen all the countries no one specific and you can play the video to see change in the world trend where you can see that most of the countries lived ex below extreme poverty during 1837 and you will see how positively the world has changed in terms of number of people by income As you can see, the majority of population is getting increased by number as well as by the amount of income. And the major line is shifting from extreme poverty towards the middle income. Yeah, so this is how the world stands today. Another chart that we are going to talk about is ages. As you can see, this is another kind of spatial chart where you can see population by age. 
and there is x axis and y axis on this y axis is the uh, age and uh, on this um, uh, x axis there is the millions of people the number of population ranging from that age if you want to see how the world has world population has changed in terms of age then you you can use this graph and uh, we are going to play the video now which is uh, which will show the world trend from 1950s uh, till today and you will see here that most of the population uh, in 1950s where this huge group where they were uh, where they were from um, 30 years old from 10 years old till 30 years old this was the major group of population lived at 1950 now let's play the video to see how they changed as you can see the number of population by age has been increased uh, more and more children are have started to live along the time previously which were around something only 40 million in 1978 it's around 100 million people who are living up to six or seven years old And as you can see now, there are a lots of people living from 10 years old to 50 years old. Th this big population is thriving now today. And more children have been living in the world. And uh, surviving children's number have been increasing. This shows how the, how the population change uh, will take place along into 2100 and uh, as you can see from here a lot of people will be living um, a fuller life uh, the life expectancy will increase obviously as it is expected and there will be more children who will live on this earth but most of the people will be range, ranging from um, 30 year uh, to this 60 years population. If you like the video, don't forget to uh, subscribe to Research Hub and uh, let us know about your views in the comment section.